the only ground in the country where over 50,000 people turn up every week. And such is the magic of Manchester United that defeat in the cup final has made no difference to their devoted fans. For the supporters who pack Old Trafford, following this famous club is still a way of life. Tommy Doherty hardly has to select the team these days because it simply picks itself. The only change from Wembley is that Jimmy Nicholl is being preferred at number two to Alex Forsyth and 11 of those 12 players are full internationals. What a contrast with Tottenham whose team sheet was once littered with great names but who are now rebuilding under new manager Keith Birkinshaw and have just one international in their side, Ralph Coates. But Pat Jennings and John Duncan are both still absent injured and it's our first chance to see at number nine Ian Moores who was signed from Stoke last Saturday and scored in the League Cup at Middlesbrough on Tuesday. How many managers, I wonder, in the Football League could be as relaxed as that just before the game starts? Last word for Steve Koppel from the manager. Dennis Turner from Cannock gets the match underway, Spurs in white, and the news is that the gates have been shut with somewhere around 60,000 people inside Old Trafford. Willie Young for Spurs. Tottenham lifted by their victory in midweek at Middlesbrough. Here's Makari for Manchester United. Looking for Hill. Oh, he got round Osgood. Well won by Houston. Pearson coming in. Spurs had left an awful lot of space in the penalty area. Two players on this near side and Pearson came across. Moores. McAllister down the left in support. Hopper was back watching him. But here's McAllister. Did well. Chris Jones in the middle with the header. Scored the opening goal in this fixture last year, Chris Jones. Don McAllister making good use of the left flank. Hoppel seeing a lot of the ball early on. Nickel again. That came off Young. McElroy. Hoppel. Pearson nearly McElroy. Trafford now bathed in sunshine as Jimmy Nicholl is pulled up for the foul. Moores. Coates. Useful cross away by Houston to Perryman. Offside. Steve Perryman, who had a knock in the League Cup tie on Tuesday, but passed a fitness test. Oh, good ball, Makari to McElroy. Taking on Young, two in the middle, Pearson and Daly. And it evaded each of them. Nickel. Spurs pushing out, but having to retreat now. Daly. Koppel.
corner. Dennis Turner enjoying the atmosphere as much as the players. And the crowd trying to do their part in bringing about the first goal. Comes to Koppel. Houston. Koppel on the right foot. Oh, what a superb shot! Steve Koppel, the scorer. The early pressure pays off, and so much of it had come from him. Lurking on the left as the corner came out. He's so strong on that right foot. Beautifully struck, right in the far corner. Just over a quarter of an hour gone, Manchester United take the lead. Popple, a real handful for McAllister, who's using the arms. Pearson! And it seemed to get stuck underneath Barry Danes, but the referee had pulled play back because Popple had already won a free kick for holding by McAllister. Houston came in again, good save. On the break for Tottenham, it's neighbour. United's defenders have hurried back. Now Hill, tremendous run through by McElroy, Pearson's up as well. Nothing given. Perryman trying to settle Spurs down, but the pressure's on all the time. Koppel. Nickel up on the outside. Five red shirts in the middle. McElroy. Koppel again! He can hit them with either foot. That was the left. McElroy. Taking on Osgood. And it's come to Koppel. Pearson. And again! Pearson! by McElroy. Pearson had the first attempt, it was blocked, and he made the second look so simple. Spurs in some disarray, and they find themselves two goals down. cross they saw United rattle five goals past Tranmere in the League Cup on Wednesday these supporters they're beginning to think of a good total again McElroy
Michael getting into the game a tremendous amount from right back. Pearson wants it, the shot hit Young. Akari. And again, Nickel. Hill. Hasn't seen much of the ball yet, Gordon Hill, but he's signed two goals up. Here's Makari. McElroy trying to get in. This is Daly. So nimble. Popple. Makari just inside. Again. Macari hit the bar. Macari thought it was in. A let off for Spurs. But this red tide keeps coming surging back. Pearson brought down by Perryman. That looked like number three, again Cockrell to the dead ball line, set the chance up. And Makari's shot crashed against the crossbar. Fine chest control by Pearson. Here's Daly. McElroy goes to the right. Daly goes left and couldn't get any power into the shot. Another fine flowing move from a Manchester United attack that never seemed to run out of ideas. Hoddle. Spurs have got four up in this attack. They can't do anything with Koppel at the moment. He left two of them sprawling. Three to cross it to. An inspired start on the right wing to this match by Steve Koppel. The only man in the Manchester United team who isn't a full international. Pearson. The Spurs can't control their clearances under this sort of pressure. They're just giving the ball back to United. Daly. And again, it should have been away, and it wasn't. And here's Gordon Hill, and he's on, but a good save by Danes. Memories for a moment of the cup final when Ian Turner made a similar save for Southampton. Perryman. Spurs still looking for their first league win despite that League Cup success in midweek. Oh, it was a superb ball from Macari to McElroy. And Dane's doing well enough. Brilliant through ball from Lou Macari. McElroy latching onto it, trying to go wide of the goalkeeper. And Dane's just getting a hand to it. United have scored two, but in fairness, it could have been three or four. Pearson. and again the through ball was on Tottenham playing a dangerous game in defence Osgood's header Ball is still in play. This is Neighbour against Houston. Pearson so mobile. So good at bringing the other forwards into the game.
Little triangle worked and a lovely return from Koppel to Daly. McElroy's come near post. Here's Pearson. Oh! And Danes was stretching and he turned it against the bar. Beautifully turned up by Stuart Pearson. And Danes at full stretch. Turning it against the bar. Bakari orchestrating this Manchester United performance in the middle of the field. And what a good first half performance it's been. Goal kick. An eventful first half for Barry Danes. Beaten twice, but he's made three lustic saves as well. This is neighbour. Spurs have attacked quite promisingly on the break at times. Naylor. Pearson is the man that Hill is aiming for. It's a superb ball. And Danes quick enough. Moores. Jones. Defenders have pushed right out. Here's McAllister. Did very well. Paul McAllister enjoying himself, I'm sure, more when he gets the chance to come forward than having to try and contain Koppel. Picking it up from McElroy. Pearson just inside and Daly. Seems churlish to complain when a side of two goals up, but United have made the space to have had more. Spurs some headaches with Pearson in eager mood and McElroy coming near post. The running of Pearson and McElroy has stretched Tottenham at the back time and again. Pushing by Greenoff. Perriman finding Jones. Goal kick. And the end of a half in which the play flowed almost uninterrupted. And Manchester United, with Steve Coppel in devastating form, suggested that they're taking on the opposition this season in very much the manner in which they left off at the end of last season in the league. Two goals up, the scorers, Coppel and Pearson. face of football in the 1970s what's going to happen at Wembley is already happening at Old Trafford the whole ground now being fenced in in accordance with UFA regulations Old Trafford behind bars before Manchester United can play in the UFA Cup the club only too aware of their responsibilities in this area following the outbreak again of the mindless minority at Derby last week indeed the club chairman Louis Edwards has written today in the programme appealing for witnesses and asking for the names of the offenders. United now attacking the Stretford end. Interesting to hear Tommy Doherty saying again before the match today that as long as things are left alone at Old Trafford and the team is left to mature, nothing can stop them building on last season's success. And indeed, in spite of signing a couple of players for cover in the summer, he does appear to have left the team more or less alone.
and just look at that crowd that's the first football league attendance over 60,000 this season and if there are any more they may well be here this is Hill that's for McElroy he was fairly wide by the time he shot Sammy McElroy set up for him by Gordon Hill Jones penalised. That was out. Nizam was quite right. David McCreary, the United substitute, has had one or two trots up the touchline, but that's normal practice. On by Moores, he's found Neighbour, and Buchan, as before in the first half, very quick to cover the ground and close down the room that Neighbour had for the shot. One of the best openings Tottenham have created, that. Just goes to show that the game is not over. Was it in? And the referee's given a goal. I suspect it may have come last off a United defender, but the goal's been given. Stuart Houston trying to knock it off the line, but it was behind. Six minutes gone and Spurs back in it. Buckingham and Nickel were both on that side as the corner was swung in and it just crossed the line on the near post. Hill. Pearson, good save, and away by McAllister. United stepping back into top gear, Pearson shot, well blocked by Danes. Moore's again doing his job in defence. Green off. This is Koppel. McAllister finally away. Daly. Temperature rising slightly. As United realise they've still got something to do here. Nicole. Neighbour. There's a foul by Neighbour, surely. There's McElroy. Cross and Moores came in! And all of a 
a sudden, it's a very different game. Ian Moore's scoring in his first league match for Tottenham. After opening his account in the League Cup tie on Tuesday, what a good goal it was. Naylor to Neighbour, a very good cross from Jimmy Neighbour, and Moore's came thundering in to volley it in. With an hour gone. Manchester United having to learn that nothing can be taken for granted. Well, last year it finished up 3-2 to United. And here we're at 2-all. Hill. Oh, Pearson! Good save! a foul against Pearson Tottenham's defence would only have had themselves to blame there they presented Pearson with a chance and Barry Danes not for the first time getting his considerable bulk in the way Spurs about to make a substitution Ralph Coates has come off and he's been replaced by John Pratt Sammy McElroy has come off and David McCreary is coming on Given away in the end by Hill. Pratt. Pratt again. Oh, it's there. And well might Alex Stepney shout in disgust at his defence because Spurs have come from two down to lead 3-2. John Pratt, the substitute, had one try, came back to him, well struck the second time, he was given room for the shot, and he puts it away. Only 12 minutes left, and who would have believed that scoreline at one stage in the first half? one of the biggest differences McAllister there staying with Copper and eventually robbing him in the first half Copper was going past him so quickly and directly Pearson his Copper came off McCreary substitute Makari United seeking the equaliser at the death Spurs pulling people back this is Nickel coming up to the end of normal time and there won't be too much time for stoppages and Spurs have got an odd man over again now Pratt, neighbour lurking on the near side, well controlled. Jones up. Referee has checked with both linesmen that time is up. And it may be that it's too late for Manchester United, and indeed it is. If ever there was a match of two halves, this was it. United will look back at the first half and think not of just the two goals they scored, but the number they missed. But Spurs will look back with pride at their recovery in the second half. The first goal coming from a corner, which I suppose has to go down to Ralph Coates, who took the corner. Moore's equalising, and then John Pratt, the substitute, producing the winner 12 minutes from time. And Manchester United, who went nearly the whole length of last season before they were beaten here at Old Trafford, now find out what it's like very early in the new season.